Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In Synthi 1605, you needed to create a mesh sphere to hold 360 VR shots like this so that you could view them properly within the perspective view, which shows only conventional linear image planes. So here we're seeing it in the camera view. Let's go over to the perspective view. And now when I lock to the image, Synthize is automatically creating that sphere and texturing it with the shot automatically all behind the scenes. So if I go to the quad perspective view, there's, there's no sphere that's been created. It's, it's just being generated on the fly. So I can now just zoom through the shot and you know look around in different directions and so on. I'm using it just kind of like a YouTube style view of a 360 VR shot where you're just looking in some particular direction at any given point in time. So you can go and look around wherever you want. So to facilitate that, the lock position only menu item has been turned on automatically so that if the camera is moving, this, this view all gets carried along, your perspective view gets carried along with the moving camera, but you're free to move the pointing direction of the perspective view to be off in any different direction to be able to see what's there, independent of what the camera is actually doing. And again, as with the previous method, you can use the field of view tool just to basically zoom in and out. And if you look down in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see the field of view is being displayed as I'm changing it. So that lets you look at things, either get the big picture or go and zoom in on some particular area. So this makes for a nice little viewing experience, and you can see what 3D objects you might have inserted into the scene as well. This does impact the earlier VR tutorials. There's that whole 14-part tutorial, but the impact is in a good way because there's now less to do. This is simpler. There's kind of less baggage. There's no uh, mesh sphere that needs to be created by you. You don't have to run the uh, script to do that like you used to. So that's good. Life's simpler. I'll point out, though, that script is still useful, though, when you want to export that sphere to a downstream application that doesn't have a 360 VR viewing capability, you can still do downstream what you used to do in Synthias here. Namely, you create the mesh and it gets textured with your shot and that way in your downstream application you can be able to do some 360 VR viewing there. So that script is still useful but you don't have to use it normally within Synthies just to be able to look around in the perspective view and see what's happening. So thanks for watching.